Today we're going to be looking at inequalities found on the FX991ZA plus 2 calculator. The question we are dealing with, 1 minus x is our first bracket, x plus 2 is our second bracket, and these are going to be less than 0. What learners might not realize straight away, or they might not notice, is that I can simplify this down, and I can find my critical values as x equals 1, or x equals negative 2. If learners don't realize this, what we can do is we can simplify the equation that has been given. So what we can do is multiply out, okay, which I have done for you. Once I have multiplied out, I've got the answer of minus x squared minus x plus 2 is less than 0. Let's have a look at how we can use it on our calculator. Press your mode button. Nothing here on this first screen is of any importance to us right now, but what you'll notice hidden at the top there, we've got a little down arrow or a little triangle indicating that we've got more options. Press your down arrow. And there we can see option number two or mode two is our inequalities. Go into option two. Now you will see that we have got two different options. Option one is our quadratic inequalities, and option number two is our cubic inequalities. For today's question or example, we are looking at squared, so therefore we are going to deal with option one, quadratic inequalities. Select option one. We are now given the opportunity to decide what type of inequality am I looking at. Is it greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, or less than, equal to? In our question, we are being told that we are going to be less than zero. So, option number two. Press number two. We are given A, B, and C values and we now need to change these please remember that you must always double check that everything is on one side and that it is in the standard format what i mean by its standard format is that your a value is always going to be your x squared your b value is always going to be your variable and your c value is always going to be your constant all of these need to be on the left-hand side, and they must be obviously greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, or less than, equal to, are zero. So please make sure that it is in its standard format, like I have got here. So what are we going to do next? To enter in our A, B, and our C values, we look at our question that is being given, and we are going to only enter our coefficients, and our constants. What does this mean? Minus x squared means in A, I am going to enter in minus 1 equals minus x minus 1 equals. My constant is positive 2. We do not have to push the positive in this case. Just enter number 2 equals. You are now given the opportunity to go back and double check that what you have entered into your calculator matches up with what is asked in your question. So minus x squared minus 1 minus x minus 1 plus 2 and 2. So I'm now happy that my a, my b and my c values all are correct. I'm going to press equals. To continue, what you're going to notice now is you're going to get two separate answers and how this is going to read, x or minus 2 is greater than x or x is less than negative 2. And this one here, they seem to flip it around for some reason. Okay, what we should have or what we should write is x is greater than 
one. So what you might want to do when you are writing this is to take it and flip it around and write it as x is greater than 1. So it's x is less than negative 2 or x is greater than 1. Okay, you will also notice that no working out was done um, in this question. Please remember to always double check your mark allocation and to check that what you have done and input into your calculator is correct. Always, always double check.